Damn kids, Brett. The damn kids. Hey guys, what's going on? Third Shade Reactions here. I'm Shane, and I'm back with Loki, Season 2, Episode 3. Guys, last episode we had Loki and Mobius and B-15 go back to the past uh, to like, I think it was the 60s or 70s, to like the red carpet movie star kind of era and capture uh, this renegade hunter X5, aka Brad Wolf. I really like the character. I like kind of the back and forth and the interrogation slash torture scene. Um, it was cool to see Loki go that far. I I'm just such a fan of the Loki character. I don't think it's any secret that season one of Loki was my favorite Marvel show. It's great. Uh, with the exception of Moon Knight having some of like the most impactful, emotional, gut-wrenching moments. Season one definitely, uh, for me, it's where it's at. And I think this show follows suit. Back at the TVA, we have Obi. He's trying to fix the loom, like the loom thing, and he declares they're all going to die because they they need Miss Minutes or he who remains. He needs them because uh, I think they were just essential to the programming of it because they were there during its inception. I think I mean conception. The team goes to Oklahoma to get a reluctant Sylvie from her McDonald's job. She uses the Force to scan Brad Wolf to try to find. I think it's. Docs or no, it's not Renslayer. They're trying to find Renslayer. They're tracking her with the temp pad. But basically, Docs has a plan to use reset charges to blow up all these diverging timelines. And now the show is like it's kind of making you feel like, hey, listen, this is genocide on a scale that is incomprehensible. In the end, she chooses not to help them. She says they all need taken down. They're all corrupt. They basically, uh, screw the TVA. She goes back to OKC or you know Oklahoma, uh, and she has like her own temp pad. Now, I don't know whose temp pad that is, but it kind of made it seem like it's something that she wasn't supposed to have, so we'll see what happens, guys. Now, before I jump into this next episode, if you want to support the channel, just subscribe to us on Patreon or just leave a comment down below. Let's jump in. The blast doors won't open. Obi, I love you, man. I wonder what Thanos would think of the TVA. What was my Nexus event? I don't remember. Oh, I forgot she was a big bitch to Sylvie. Oh, it's the Marvel theme song, Brett. Chicago. Looks like uh, the Great Depression. No, it's earlier than that. I like a good set. Let me guess, there's gonna be someone that sees this pretty well-dressed black woman, 1868. I'm way off. Oh, right, there's a black dude back there, okay. Where is she? The hell are you doing, lady? In this part of town. That's a hell of a time to go back. <laughs> Why? took you so long? Oh. You told me I was going somewhere important, that I was going to meet someone important. Did you bring what I asked? I'll bless your heart. He told me that we need to put this package in that window. It was his plan, meant to protect all of Ty. Then why didn't he do it? He's dead. What? This was the plan he made when he knew the end was near for him. Jeez Louise. It didn't exactly blend in. Better. <laughs> I'm very intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. And what do I get in return? When he's back where he belongs, atop the TVA, you and I will be right by his side. Oh, is that like a young hem? What a wonderful set. It feels real, man. Yep. We can hack into the system. Really? Oh, that is such a relief! Ooh, I'm wondering. What? I think you made it as an idea. Can we? No. We're all gonna die still. No one's gonna die. Uh, what about Miss Minutes? Did she open up access to the loom? Miss Minutes, what about it? She has administrative access to the entire she TVA. Has access to the whole universe. <laughs> okay, we got a hit on the temp pad. We'll be from right here. This is so Chicago, cool. 1868 to the same spot, 1893. I'm gonna go to the same place twice. Trying to connect the dots. I mean, this isn't a pivot point in history. She wants to make sure he learned. Let's go to 1893. what are you up to? This can't be the same place. Yes, yes. How could I have forgotten? Chicago World's Fair, 1893. The White City, Edison. Yes, hot air balloons. And if they're here, we'll find them. Is that here? Only one way to find out. Ghost clock continues to haunt the midway. Hey! It's a good thing I have subtitles on. I might have a solid ghost clock. What? 
I wonder if there's any kind of actual historical thing about a ghost clock from back then. That would be cool. Cracker Jack concession stand is a high traffic area. It was necessary and logical to go there. So the fact that it's tasty is just a bonus. I mean, they can look forever, right? They can just keep going back in time, right? I see everything. I know this everything. He's going to see me go see crackers out on the chain. How about now? It's very sticky. <laughs> this has to be a joke. Does it make you a little homesick? Yeah. It's completely inaccurate, first of all. You don't think that looks like Odin? It's a crass generalization I mean, he could reduce an entire culture down to a simple diorama such poverty of imagination left out that they're not up there you know sometimes i forget you are one of them watch my mind that's so cool i would love for him and thor to interact in some way look this look temporal that can't be a coincidence that's a little fine rinse there i think she's here Think okay. she does like a good drink, and so do I. So is time passing by here, as is passing by in the TVA? I don't think it'd be so bored is back that then. Balloon? I think so. Time is everything. Oh, it's gonna be him. It shapes our Jonathan Majors. Lives. Yeah. Can conquer our futures. But perhaps we can shape it. Very good. It's him. <laughs> he remains. Time is the future of energy. And just what would you know about the future, boy? Great question. Great Lord. question. A chaos of particles is shared. Into order with my device. The wattage Edison uses to light a single bulb can light the whole of Chicago. So you can light a few bulbs, big deal. You need a lot more than that to light a whole city. I aim to light to power. The entire planet! Laugh it off as pure science fiction. Because all science is fiction until it's back! Kind of like in the movie The Prestige. Oh god. I got to have that machine. That's quite a device you've got there, Timely. But I still have some doubts. Oh, it's, it's still a, a, a prototype, albeit one that many wealthy investors are competing to acquire. I was thinking more along the lines of a partnership. You give me the patent rights, and I'll facilitate production. I don't do partners. Excuse me. One thousand dollars. That's my final offer. I suggest you take it. He's not going to take it. I believe we have a, a deal. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> they didn't shake yet. What's going on? Hey, clown, you stepped on my foot. I do apologize. I assure you any physical contact was purely incidental. What's he going to think of his English accent? Oh, he's part, that's part of the game. It's a con. How about we settle this up? Excellent suggestion. I agree. The amazing Loki, everyone! He'll be here all week! <laughs> I just realized that man's dead. He could have children. Oh, he's not dead. Excuse me? My associate and I would love to tell you about a little business. It's thrilling. I beg your pardon, fellas, but Mr. Timely and I are in the middle of discussing When, sir, this is only going to take a minute. Uh, do you all know each other? Well, it works not. I want we my money back, Timely. These trousers don't work. What are you talking about? You look taller to me. Uh, perhaps I could come by next week. Maybe uh, just to set it. Next week? Next week. Fine. Fine. Mr. Timely. Mechanical trousers? 
You're a confidence trickster. Luminary is the word you're looking Luminary, for, Luminary, of course, yeah, forgive yeah, me. My ideas are just ahead of their time. Why wouldn't they be? The concepts are bona fide. I just need the cool technology of this era to catch up with my visionary mind. Of course. Your inventions are fake! Mind. Timely! Excuse me. Oh my God, oh. He can't calm people forever, like... He'd have to move. Why are you going up to the top, dude? There's no escape from this guy! Oh, where is he? He's over there! Open the door! Do you know who I am, boy? Sorry, we've got a development. We have a development here, too. Turns out we have something even better than this minute. We have a He Who Remains variant. We can use this temporal aura. A heads up, Casey has had a really weird uh, temp pad reading. Oh, weird, like dangerous? Where? About 10 feet from where you're standing. We have that in. Oh! Sylvie! Sylvie, no! You stay out of this. What the hell is she doing? Just wait! Just wait for a second! You've done enough. Get out of my face and let me finish the job! Ah, oh! 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 oh, damn it. Wait. Why don't you tell me what's going on? She's got that oh, temp pad, but. Me. We don't work together anymore, Mobius. I don't have to tell you anything. Yeah, and look, we're not working together, gotcha. You asked me what I would do if one of his variants turned up, and I told you then, I'd kill him. Without his help, the TVA will be destroyed. Good, let it burn. Do you care about anything but the TVA? And the TVA is destroyed, there would be a life to go back to. And we can't fix it without him. Dude, this is gonna be wild for him. Because the TVA is melting down, and he's the key to fixing the loop. We need your help. No, Mobius. There is no we. Not anymore. I have seen the sunset of a bunch of relationships that ended with women saying that. Never the man. Where do you think you got that book? If you and the TVA hadn't messed with him, he'd have remained harmless. But instead, you weaponized him. The most dangerous man who ever lived. Sylvie, I have never met this man in my life. I didn't give him this book, but we need him. The TVA needs him. The lives they protect need him. You haven't got a clue, have you? Your home are in danger. And right now, he may be our best hope. Stay the guy. I can't let him live. Bitch, settle down. Jesus. Oh. This is your moment. This is on you. No, it's on you, fool. Make, make yourself comfortable. One of your inventions? <laughs> <laughs> refrigerator chair very practical so did you like my performance back there Ooh. bravo <laughs> you are absolutely singular well thank you you're pretty singular yourself at least you will be what do you mean it's complicated ladies it's high time someone tells me exactly what is going on <laughs> A version of you created an entity called the Time Variance Authority. But two variants of the same Norse god murdered him, which resulted in the creation of new timelines, which would each see the rebirth of countless different versions of you. Uh, are you saying I c created the TVA? I know this must be overwhelming. If it's too much for you... No, it's like the story of, my, of myself that I always uh, imagined. Did you hear the murder part? That is why you need me by your side. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Even before the TVA, or her, you created me. And we work together at the end of time. I'm here because I know what a great man you can become. Our loom, a device not unlike your prototype you had on stage, it's in trouble. <laughs> And it needs you. That's not dissimilar to what the wizard gentleman sets me in, on the service. 
Or why are the two of you in, in cahoots with him and his butler? <laughs> they can't be trusted. Uh, why not? Loki helped murder your variant. It's true. But he was protecting me. Mm, he switches sides. It's a well-documented behavioral trait. Time to go. Time. I'm not going anywhere until I have my latest proto tape. It's at my lab across the lake. You love it. It's like the young Caribbean of the Midwest. You don't live here? No, this is just a Peter chair. My lab is in Wisconsin. Go, go, go. Lower taxes. Right. So it's all about, baby. Sir, use your legs. We need the uh, usual uh, accommodations. What are the usual accommodations? Just so. What's this latest work of yours that's so important? Oh. Key to understanding and manipulating time. This is where I keep everything I've ever imagined. That looks impressive. It's a TVA guidebook. Mm. Perhaps you recognize it. It was delivered to me when I was a child, dropped into my life by some divine hand. I've never found out who. You. I brought it to you. <laughs> you brought it to him the way the postman brings the post. We both know whose planet was. This book has defined the course of my life. I like to think of it as a correspondence between myself and the visionary author, Ouroboros. This is the most important discovery I've made yet. It's a throughput multiplier. A throughput it multiplier. could help you with your doom. I always knew my ideas were good. I didn't have the technology to make them really work. Imagine that. Being that far ahead of your time. It's like every science fiction writer, I guess. I didn't think... I didn't really take Renslayer for, like, the, the fall in love type. Thank you. I'm starting to see the man you'll become. He's handsome. He's in, incredibly intelligent. Appreciate that. He becomes a lord of time. I have high hopes for this partnership. He doesn't do partners. Look at Miss Mendes. She, this plotting clock. You have to go to leave for us there. That would scare the shit out of you, man. You heard her, Victor. Partnership. God damn it. Really? You can do that to her? That, that kind of upsets me. She's an evil bitch, you can tell. The culmination of my life's work. I'm ready. Let's go. Now, what's the rush? It might be smart to lay low for a while. We made quite the ruckus back there. They don't trust her. You know, for a moment, I was worried that you wouldn't come with me. That you liked Ravona better than me. When you first created me, long before the TVA or multiversal war, I was just a simple AI. So you gave me autonomy to write my own programming. I was allowed to have wants. A loyal friend. More than friends. I alone was by your You're side. You're giving him too much, crazy no lady. Why didn't you allow me a real body if I had a body? We could truly lead together. Make the damn Terminator. You just kept me as your thing. Your computer. Your toy. You're not Instead making a good case for yourself. Could have been your girl. Nope. Nope. Don't. Don't do that. Victor, what are you doing? Put that down. Don't do this for a change. You need me. I love you. Jesus. <laughs> Lovers, Tiff. Okay, things are getting quite strange. <laughs> uh, it's very uh, dangerous. You left her for dead. I was entrusted with this mission by he who remains, not his variant. So from now on, I'm the one in 
charge. <laughs> This Rin Slayer. No! No! Step away from him. We need him. You have lost your way. Mobius, you really are unbelievable. Who are you to lecture me about losing my way? <gasps> We've all lost our way. But someone has to keep track of the big picture here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Did you happen to notice? The second I left, everything crumbled. When will you learn that none of your words mean a thing? All that matters is order versus chaos. I'm order. No. That's Sylvie. Is this crazy bitch gonna kill him again? Sneaky, sneaky crazy lady. She's gonna feel bad for him, not do it. It's gonna be a paradox if she kills him. Please, I haven't done anything. No, oh, you will. You'll do terrible things. You kill baby Hitler or not? I can make my own choices. I'm not the man you think I am. Hmm. There we go, see, feels bad. Get him out of here. Walk through. That's so weird. Don't make me regret this. Leave her to me. You gonna kill her? We are. I suppose I've been a box you've been wanting to take for a long time. <laughs> Come on, you know, eons old and you can't fight at all. Just do it. I've killed you a thousand times in my mind, each time more brutal than the last. It's crippling, that kind of obsession. I'm starting to realize that. Oh, I know it is. It's power for you, isn't it? A seat at the end of time. Be careful what you wish for. <gasps> she could be there with his dead body. Jeez, he's just old. Dead for a long time. Love you. Darn. I should have known. I had him under control until he sabotaged me and made fools of us. It was foolish of him to make an enemy out of someone who knows all his secrets. I know a really big one about you. I can tell you, but... But what? It's gonna make you real angry. Damn! guys that was my reaction and i really like the episode i love this show out of the first two episodes i don't really want to rank them there's only been three yeah i don't want to rank them but i felt very strongly about this episode in a positive way first of all can we just appreciate just going through different places in time and making it feel authentic uh, one of my favorite shows that got canceled after one season with my boy matt lanter who plays the voice of anakin skywalker dude that show was so cool it was kind of like this, almost like this American Doctor Who. It's like you're going through time, solving problems, helping people, but you would also do not want to mess up time. My question is, is as they are going through time, using their, their temp pad devices, as the minutes go by for them, are those minutes going by at the TVA? Like, is, is the TVA like a fixed point? It's like if you go forward 10 minutes and then go backward 10 minutes and then forward 10 minutes, if you're keeping track of your time, it's 30 minutes. Does that 30 minutes go by for the TVA as a fixed point? That's my question. Or can you just keep doing what Clara does in Doctor Who? You can just, like, you go forward and before the, the bad thing happens, you just go back in time. And you can go all through time and time will never end for you or for anything. Unless they get killed. That's what I'm wondering. Like, can they keep traveling through time trying to solve the problem of the TVA and the loom uh, using just time travel. That, that's my question. I think that's actually a pretty important one, but I don't think the show is going to address it. But uh, it was great to see Miss Minutes. She is back and she's creepy and she is this weird rogue AI, which is a scary thing living in today's world. Uh, you know, we have things like Terminator. It seems like it's more realistic now than definitely it was when it came out. James Cameron warned us, baby. And I think so did, uh, what's his name? Stephen Hawking. Love all this stuff in 1868 and 1893. The idea 
which is a paradox essentially. It is a big loop. He basically gave himself the TVA guidebook. That way he can grow up to be the man he needs to become, to do the things he needs to do, to give himself, you know, the book. But if we're talking about the chicken and egg thing, the very first time it happened on the very first timeline, how did he get that book? I don't know. Uh, and that's my problem with those kind of paradoxical things like that. I always like something normally a little more creative, you know, that doesn't, doesn't have to rely on that loop. The show really tricked me with going to 1893. I thought Victor was going to be like this genius ahead of its time kind of thing. Um, and he was going to impress all these, like these crappy ass people. But uh, no, he's a con man. He, no, I mean, he is a genius ahead of his time, but he's like this unfocused thing. Like his ideas won't work now because the technology isn't there. So he has to con people and he kind of reminds me of Doc Brown a little bit. Doc Brown is like this genius, but he is so discombobulated and disorganized and crazy that nothing really works out for him. And now, so Jonathan Majors, uh, Victor Timely, he, he never had that focus. He was destined for something greater. I, I took Renslayer as kind of fallen for him. Like he is like the handsome man at the end of time. I truly felt maybe she was making eyes at him. The, the show is suggesting that at the very least she was being a little selfish about it because she threw down partnership. I like how they use partnership because they established she doesn't like it. Although I thought it was dirty and a little weak on his part for Miss Minutes to talk him into like leaving her for dead essentially. It's which is basically because she can't row fast and hard all through the night, I don't think. But I guess she does. She gets there at some point. Oh uh, yeah, Miss Minutes, man. She's a bitch. I know, I mean, I know Renslayer is dirty. I need to go back and watch the first season again. But uh, yeah, she's nefarious as well. But Miss Minutes, she is like a different type of scary being like this seemingly gentle, in reality, she wasn't. I, I really love some of the old adage science fiction elements. And you know, I see that in Mass Effect. Uh, one of my favorite game series of all time. That trilogy to me is still like the greatest trilogy in video games. Not Andromeda, the trilogy. Yeah, the idea that they are at this place seemingly above and outside of everything else, but there is Miss Minutes in the middle, and she's a part of a nefarious plot that no one knows about. I, I just think that's so cool. <sighs> so Sylvie, I understand the pain in her life. <sighs> you know, people are going to just react to the show. I don't mean react like I am. They're just going to watch this show, and they're going to feel their emotions, and I think she's being kind of annoying. Um, I think that's what people are going to think. They're not going to think back to her hard life she had in season one. I mean, she already killed him, and right now she's causing trouble for our, our protagonists Except this time, she, we don't, she doesn't have the benefit of having that love story type of thing with Loki. Now she's like the crazy ex-girlfriend or the crazy ex-wife trying to crush your dreams. I guess here's the question. Do you kill baby Hitler? So I feel from a purely, well, I say no. And the main reason I say no is because history needs to transpire the way it does. And then we can learn from it. Now hopefully we have learned from it. Sometimes the way things go in this country, it's like you grow up and you're like in high school and you hear about the old wars, you hear about Vietnam War, and you know, there's the wars that are in the Middle East that are outside of, of what I grew up in. I mean, I experienced 9-11, obviously. I really feel like this terrible social unrest, like this extreme division, definitely in the United States and kind of throughout the world. I mean, I just hate the, the division and the senseless death of you know civilians and things like that that way all these rural leaders can get what they want there's so much misinformation out there i don't really know even what's true anymore i just know i hate when innocent people die i don't know why i start talking about this so no i don't think you kill baby hitler because we could not learn from that we needed humanity needed to hit that low for us to to become enlightened i, mean, I can't imagine like i think of my favorite uh, sports sports broadcaster Max, Max Kellerman, he direct descended the people who uh, uh, whose family members have died in the Holocaust. Like his grandmother survived it, and his other relatives did not. I'm never going to tell someone like that. Yeah, it's you know you don't kill baby Hitler, but uh, I feel like that is the right answer. You don't go back in time and kill him because I feel like something worse can happen, or something the same thing can happen later on. Anyways, if you could have an accurate look at time and think and see that killing him led to a better world where all the people who died didn't die and there wasn't another Hitler level event later on, then I think it makes the most sense to kill baby Hitler. In Sylvie's case, do you kill the man who created the TVA? I don't know because I'm still trying to remember if the show clearly answered. Like I know the TV, I know there's, I know there's a time war. I know the TVA is aired for the, all the timelines and to prune the, the bad ones, even though 
they're not really bad ones. There's like a sacred one and all the other ones are actually real people with real lives and all the people working there were once people with real lives. If the TVA never existed at all, would there just be the timeline? And if that's the case, do we need him? I'm, I'm a pussy, so, you know, it will be hard for me to kill baby Hitler if he was just a baby. Like, it will be hard for me to kill that handsome man, okay? If he was sitting there begging for his life saying, hey, I'm not the man you think I am. I, I control my decisions. I control my life. I'm a good person. Yeah, that would be hard to do. So I don't know the answer. Let me ask you, do you guys kill baby Hitler? I, I imagine in Sylvie's case, I think the show clearly answers the question that, no, you, you shouldn't kill him. I think the show kind of answers that for us in its own way. Uh, anyways, guys, I know I'm behind on this. I'm going to try to do episode four as soon as I can and try to get back on schedule. Shout out to my, my good friend and uh, friend of the channel as well and editor, hard worker, love the guy, Brett. He's been working overtime for us. He's getting this done, so thank you, Brett. Uh, thanks to everyone who's watching. And if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. Much love. See you next episode.